What is going on guys, it is Panjano here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the Ultimate FPS Increase Guide for Apex Legends. So assuming the game has been out for a couple of weeks now and there's been those updates, I thought it was time to release my Ultimate Optimization Guide to make sure that you guys are getting the very best FPS possible with inside of Apex Legends on your machines. This video is tailored towards low end machines, medium end machines, all the way up to brand new ultra high end gaming PCs. No matter what you're playing on, if you can boot into the game currently but you're not getting very good performance, we're going to be making sure that you guys are getting the best FPS possible, alongside smoothing out any stuttering you might be experiencing and making the game a much more enjoyable and playable experience. As always guys, if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like on the videos, it helps me out tremendously. Alongside leaving any questions, queries, suggestions, or feedback for the video in the comment section down below, as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. Alongside considering subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell notification to be notified instantly whenever I upload updated videos to games like this, or produce community suggested content. And with all that out of the way, let's get straight into the video to keep this as fast and as informative as possible. So, starting off with inside of this video, similar to some of my other content if you've watched it before, there'll be an FPS increase pack linked in the description below. You don't have to download this FPS increase pack, you can optimise the game without following any links in the description down below, but your optimizations will be very limited. If you wish to get the very best results, take yourself into the description down below, follow one of the download links, if the first one doesn't work, try out the second one, head into the webpage, download the FPS increase pack, put it onto your desktop, and you'll be given a file named Apex Legends FPS Pack by Panj. This is a completely trusted, safe to download file, it doesn't include anything in which can get you banned, everything is completely safe, legitimate, and easy to follow along with. So once the FPS increase pack has been put onto your desktop, you'll need a program called 7-Zip or WinRAR, if you don't have one of those programs installed, head over to Google, Google one of the programs, install it, come back to the video, and you're good to go. At this point, right click on the FPS increase pack you downloaded and select the option for extract here. Once you guys have done that, you'll be given a folder on your desktop with an identical name. So, cracking on with the video, to start off, what we're going to be doing is actually making sure that Apex Legends is installed in one of the best locations in our PC. If you guys are currently running the game and it's installed to an old, slow hard drive, I'd highly recommend at this moment in time uninstalling the game and placing it either onto an SSD, NVMe SSD, or one of the newer, faster hard drives you might have installed in your system. If you're not entirely sure if you've installed any new hard drives recently or if you have an SSD on your system, take some time to go have a look around and really do consider placing this game on a faster hard drive, newer hard drive, or even an SSD if possible. Now moving on to the second and most important preparation step before we go into the optimizations is to actually make sure that you're running on the latest graphics card driver. It shocks me how many people don't keep up to date with their graphics card drivers, they're completely free from every single manufacturer, they do not cost a penny, they install within a matter of moments, and some of the FPS boosts and stuttering fixes in which can actually be applied within many games are phenomenal. I'd highly recommend updating your GPU drivers around about once every three months as a bare minimum, if not once every month. To do this, whether you're on an AMD Radeon card or a GeForce NVIDIA card, head into the description down below and you'll find two links. For you guys running on NVIDIA GeForce cards, you'll be brought to this website found here. You'll navigate over to Automatic Driver Updates, select Download on the Utility, install the program, it will detect and install everything for you and get you up and running on the latest driver. For you guys running on AMD Radeon graphics cards, it's very simple to do. Again, you'll come to this website found here. You'll scroll all the way down and in the bottom left hand side, you'll see the auto detect and install Radeon graphics drivers for Windows utility. Get onto the download now button, download it, and it will automatically detect and get you up and running on the latest driver. Once you guys have installed those GPU driver updates, make sure that you do go into the bottom left hand side, right click on your power button and restart the PC. Come back to this video just to ensure that everything is good to go. And we've got a good platform to build our optimizations upon. That now brings us on to some of the first optimizations with inside of the game. What we're going to be doing is navigating into the game installation directory. Now for you guys that have the Apex Legends shortcut on your desktop, this is going to be very simple and quick to do. To get into the game directory, simply right click on the shortcut, head down into open file location, and we're inside of the game installation directory. For you guys that do not have the shortcut on your desktop, it's very simple and easy to do. Just navigate into origin, this time go to the top left hand side, navigate down to application settings. With inside of here then head up to installs and saves. Then when you scroll down, you'll find on your computer, game library location, and that will be the location and where Apex Legends is installed to. Follow that directory and get into the game installation folder just like so. Once you guys are inside of the game installation folder, what we're going to be doing is navigating down to the R5 Apex application found here at the bottom, right clicking on it and navigating to properties. With inside of here, we're going to go to the compatibility tab, and we're then going to check the option for disable full screen optimizations, click on the option for change our DPI settings, override the high DPI scaling behavior, press OK, apply and OK. Now, whilst we're still inside of the game directory, what we're going to be doing is navigating into the CFG folder with inside of here. And once you guys are inside of here, what we're going to be doing is dragging this folder to the right hand side. We're then going to navigate back to our desktop and open up the FPS increase pack provided, double clicking and going inside of the game optimizations folder. With inside of here, we're then going to go inside of the auto exec folder and you'll find an auto exec.cfg with inside of here in which we can drag and drop into this folder. So simply drag it from the Apex Legends FPS increase pack and drop it inside of the CFG folder in your game. Once you guys are done with that, we can exit out of both the folders as that optimization optimization has now been completed. Building upon that optimization, we can now navigate back into the FPS increase pack provided, this time going inside of the optimizations folder and going inside of Apex 
X, EXE priority. With Inside of here you'll find three keys and these will actually set the priority mode with Inside of Windows every time Apex Legends boots. So if you select Apex Legends high priority, the game will boot in high priority with Inside of Windows, taking up more resources and being allocated more resources to run smoother and faster. I'd recommend everyone trying out high priority. If you do run into any issues or your game starts stuttering, try above normal, if not revert it back to normal. But for everyone watching this video, I'd recommend double clicking on high priority, selecting yes, it will then notify you that the changes have successfully been created, then press OK, and what we can then go ahead and do is exit back out of the folder. Proceeding on from there, what we can now go ahead and do is install a custom config to the game alongside launch options and other console commands. To this, what we're going to be doing is navigating into the Apex Legends FPS increase pack provided, going inside of game optimizations, and heading inside of the configs folder. With inside of here, you'll be met with three folders featuring a high-end config, low-end config, and a recommended config. For 99% of you watching this video, I'd recommend selecting the recommended config as that is the best mix for pretty much all systems, low end, medium end and high end for the best FPS for your game. But for everyone watching this video, I'd recommend going into recommended. Inside of there, you'll then be met with a video config text document. What we're going to be doing for now is actually dragging this over to the right hand side. We can then navigate down into the file explorer with inside of windows. Right click and select file explorer. This will then open up another file explorer window. On the left hand side we're going to be selecting local disk C drive, then going inside of the users folder, then inside of here then click on the user profile for your PC in which you are using. For me that's going to be this one, double click, and we're then going to go inside of the folder which is going to be titled saved games, double click once again, go inside of respawn, apex, local, then within inside of this folder you'll find previous game state, settings and video config. What we're going to be doing is navigating to the right hand side to the config with inside of the FPS increase pack provided dragging this over and replacing the file with inside of this destination. Once you guys have got that installed, we can then exit out of both of the folders as that optimization has now been completed and installed. Proceeding on from there and installing the custom launch options to our game, it's actually very simple and easy to do. We're going to be navigating back into the FPS increase pack provided, this time double clicking on launch options.txt. Inside of here you'll find the launch options which we're going to install to our game, but you'll have to change some of these around slightly. The only value we're looking to change is dash refresh 240. You'll be setting 240 here to the refresh rate of your monitor, so if you have a 60 hertz monitor you'll be setting the value to 60, if you have a 75 hertz monitor set it to 75, 120 hertz 120, 144 and 240 etc etc. Set this to match your monitor's refresh rate and you should be good to go. Once that's then done we're going to drag all the way from the right hand side all the way to the left, right click and select copy. With inside of here we're then going to exit out, you can save these if you wish to do so. Then what we're going to be doing is navigating into origin, heading over to my game library, heading over to apex legends and right clicking. We're then going to go down to game properties, advanced launch options at the top and then you'll find command line arguments found here. What you'll then do is you'll then press Ctrl and V on your keyboard at the same time and they'll be pasted in just like so. Again yours might look slightly different as you might have changed the value here. Once that's then done go ahead and press save and those launch options have successfully been installed. So for one of the final steps in actually setting up the game optimizations themselves, what we're going to be doing is actually setting our in-game settings according to our system specs and the best settings according to those. Heading into the FPS increase pack provided, going inside of the game optimizations folder and heading into the in-game settings folder. With inside of here you'll then find four text documents for high end, low end, medium end and ultra low end systems. With inside of these text documents you'll find the settings in which correspond for the best results depending on your system specs. So open up the config with inside of here which best matches your system spec for the best results. So if you're on a high-end system, go with high-end, if you're on a low-end system, go with low, and vice versa. So for me, seeing I'm recording this video on my high-end gaming machine, I'm going to be double-clicking and going inside of the high-end config. So once you guys are inside of there, what we're now going to be doing is actually booting into the game. So once you guys have booted into the game, what I'd recommend doing is setting up the game into windowed mode just for now so you can set up all of the options on the right-hand side. I then recommend putting the text file with all of the settings in which you're going to match on the right-hand side of your screen and set it up just like so. Once you guys are inside of there, then navigate into the game and go to settings. Head into the settings tab found here, then navigate up to the video tab found at the top. With inside of here, what we're then going to be doing is following all of the options found here on the right-hand side and the recommended option depending on the config notepad in which you've opened up and we're just going to simply be matching them. So for me, with inside of this config, display mode should be set to full screen, aspect ratio can be set to whichever, my in-game resolution set to 1920 by 1080 field of view is set to anything you want, and what you'll do is you'll simply just come through here and set all of these settings with inside of here, according to what the text document says. Once all of them have been matched, then simply go ahead and press the apply button on the bottom left hand side, and you are good to go. You can then exit out of the game and continue on with the optimizations with inside of the video. Building upon that, for any of you guys that actively use Discord, especially when you're running Discord whilst playing games, even if you're not talking to someone, if you typically have the program open, make sure that you apply this fix, regardless of what sort of system you're on, whether that be an ultra low-end laptop, or the way to 
the latest and greatest in high-end gaming PCs, make sure you apply this fix as you'll be seeing good benefits across the board. What we're going to be doing is starting off by going into Discord itself, navigating to the bottom left-hand side and clicking on User Settings. With inside of here, then navigate to the left-hand side and select the Appearance tab. With inside of here, we're then going to scroll all the way down once more and find the option for Hardware Acceleration. If you haven't already turned this off, this option will be enabled, so make sure that you come down to Hardware Acceleration and disable it just like so. Once you guys have done that, then go ahead and press the OK button. Discord will automatically restart and Hardware Acceleration will be turned off. This will sometimes boost FPS in games, but can drastically fix stuttering in a lot of situations. Moving on from there, what we're now going to be doing is ensuring that Windows is running on the correct power plan, making sure that it's allocating the correct amount of resources and getting the most out of the hardware you have installed to your system. It's very quick and easy to do and highly effective. What we're going to be doing is navigating to the bottom left hand side and typing in power plan just like so. Once you've got that typed in, click on any of the options, just make sure that the option has this icon found here, which is the battery with the cord going around it, and select the option. At the top, what we're going to be doing is navigating up to the top directory and selecting where it says power options. Make sure that you then go down to the show additional power plans option and you'll then be seeing balanced, high performance and power saver. Some of you guys might be seeing more power plans with inside of here, but the power plan we're going to be looking for is actually going to be ultimate performance. Now for any of you guys watching this video and you're running on Windows 10, this is a free ultimate performance power plan in which you can enable by following the link in the description down below. It's an incredibly fast, simple and easy video to follow, and this is one of the most recommended optimizations for any PC in which you're planning on playing games on, or find yourself doing video editing on or Photoshop work. So if you wish to unlock the ultimate performance power plan, follow the video, come back here, make sure that you then select the power plan by clicking on the dot. If you don't wish to follow that video, you can get most of the gains from inside of the ultimate performance power plan with inside of the high performance power plan. And everyone has that, so if you wish to go with that, select high performance. So select the power plan you're going to be going with. For me, I'm going to be going with ultimate performance. Once it's then selected, then go ahead and exit out of the control panel. Piggybacking off of that optimization, what we can now go ahead and do is actually apply a fix to Windows and further CPU optimizations, which comes in the form of CPU unparking. This is incredibly safe, easy, and reliable. This is the second most important optimization I recommend for absolutely everyone, and I do this every single time I come across a PC in which hasn't got it enabled or a brand new installation of Windows. So to do this, what we're going to be doing is navigating into the FPS increase pack, heading into the optimizations folder, and with inside of here, we're going to be selecting the CPU core parking setup version 2140 double clicking on the exe and in the bottom hand side of the screen now you'll be seeing a brief explanation as to what this program does and what it allows you to do with inside of here we're then going to be selecting next accept the terms to the license agreement select next next install and after that the program will then be installed ensure the launch option down here has been selected and then press finish after a few short moments, the program will open up and it will look similar to this, but your numbers and settings might be slightly different based on your system. That's absolutely fine. To start off, what we're going to be doing is heading into the power data plan found up in the top left-hand side. Click on the drop-down menu, and with inside of the drop-down menu, we're going to be matching the power plan we set in the previous step. So if you guys have selected high performance, select high performance. If you went with ultimate, select ultimate. Once that's then been selected, we're then going to navigate to the bottom left-hand side and go to core parking index. This slider might be at a different position for you, this might be set to some random percentage, but what we're going to do is drag the slider all the way up to 100%. We're also going to be going over to Frequency Scaling Index, dragging the slider to 100% once again. And finally, for some of you guys watching this video, you won't have this option, but if you do have the option there, also do it for Turbo Boost Index, again, 100%. Once you guys have got all of that set up, then go ahead and press the Apply button, press OK, and that optimization has now been completed, and we can exit out. Proceeding on from there, what we can now go ahead and do is actually apply some GPU optimizations. To do this is actually very simple and easy to do. What you guys will do is you'll right-click on your desktop and select either the NVIDIA control panel or the AMD Radeon settings panel, depending on which GPU you have. Enter into the control panel, and to start off with inside of here, we're going to be going with the NVIDIA settings first. What we're going to be doing is navigating to the top left hand side to adjust image settings with preview, select the middle option which is use advanced 3D image settings, once that's then been selected, press apply. We can then go ahead and hit the blue highlight section here, which is take me here. Or just go to manage 3D settings on the left hand side. With inside of here, select global settings. And then what you guys will need to do is actually go ahead and pause the video and copy all of the settings with inside of here to match mine. Once you guys are down by monitor technology, we can scroll all the way down again, pause the video, and last but not least, down at the bottom. Make sure that you select as many of these as possible for the best results. What we can then go ahead and do is press the apply button in the bottom right hand side and those optimizations have now been completed. For another quick and highly effective optimization for anyone running on an NVIDIA graphics card, you can drastically lower the latency between frame times and also boost FPS by doing this and it takes around about a minute or so. What we're going to be doing is navigating to the FPS increase pack, heading into optimizations and opening up the NVIDIA profile inspector tool found here by double clicking. What we're then going to be doing is navigating to the left hand side, going down to number two which is sync and refresh 
refresh, going down to frame rate limiter mode and double clicking. Going inside of the drop down menu and selecting the option for 0x004 PS frame rate limiter 2 control delay flip by flip. Just make sure that the number is set to 4 and you're good to go. Once that's then been done, go ahead and press apply changes in the top right hand side and exit out of the program and it's just that simple and easy to do. Do bear in mind that you will have to reapply that optimization every time you update the GPU drivers as that will be reset back to default. So assuming that we've now reached this point in the video and you followed all the optimizations up until here, what we're now going to be doing before applying the last optimization is actually just simply restarting our PCs to ensure that everything has been applied and set properly and we're good to go. So this is what we're going to be doing is navigating to the bottom left hand side, clicking on the Windows button, right clicking on the power button, heading over to restart, restarting the system, coming back to this video, opening up Origin and getting ready to complete the last and final step. For the last and final step, what we're going to be doing is heading into the FPS increase pack provided, heading inside of the optimizations folder, and dragging the time resolution application found here onto the desktop. What this program basically does is it lowers the amount of input latency between the operating system, hardware you have installed, and the game application itself. Ensuring that these talk to each other at a much more increased rate doesn't only boost FPS, but it also lowers frame times and input latency times, making sure that the game feels a lot more snappy, responsive, and fluid. So to use the program and when to use the program, what you'll do is before you boot any game you're playing, in this case, we're gonna be playing Apex, you'll boot into the program by double clicking, select the maximum button to set the lowest input latency possible, minimize the program, but make sure that the program's still running. At this point, you'll boot into Apex or any game for that matter, play it for however long you wish to do so. Once you're done playing and you've exited out of the game, maximize the program back up, select default, set it back to the normal value, and exit out, and it's just that simple and easy to use. So assuming that we've now completed all of the optimizations and we're ready to go ahead and play the game, what we're gonna be doing is booting into time resolution, selecting maximum, heading over to Apex and hitting play. And there you guys have it, my ultimate FPS increase guide for Apex Legends, ensuring that you guys are getting the very best in performance and playability at all price points and system specs, whether that be ultra low end laptops, all the way up to the very best in terms of ultra high end gaming PCs. Let me know of any results, questions, queries, and feedback for the video in that comment section down below, as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. Alongside, if you did enjoy this video and are happy with the results, please do leave a like on it, as it helps me out tremendously. And if you guys do enjoy content like this and wish to see any community suggested content being created or updates to Apex itself the moment they go live on my channel make sure that you do press that subscription button and the bell notification to be notified instantly thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video hopefully it has been worthwhile and I'll see you guys in the next one